Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about um, adaptations and how plants and animals adapt to survive in harsh environments. Okay, now in this unit we are looking at hot deserts and we are looking at tropical rainforests. Um, so in this case, a tropical rainforest is a harsh environment because it is very, very hot and it is very, very wet. Okay, and here we have a sloth. Okay. So, a sloth is, has adapted to live in a, a tropical rainforest, okay, for a number of reasons, okay. It's adapted to survive in the harsh environments of it being very wet and very warm and having lots of trees, okay. So, it is designed to live in tree environments, okay, and that's indicated by its very long arms, okay, and its rounded feet, okay, these here. So, this sloth here can hang on onto uh, branches, okay, onto trees. Um, and it can hang, okay, and because of this feet here, it allows him to do that, okay, let's just assume this sloth is a he, okay. Uh, another thing that it has is his bone structure in his neck here, okay, so this sloth has the ability to turn its head 270 degrees, okay, which is good because it means that it can watch out for prey, okay, and can look out for its young too, so it has a good awareness, all right. Um, a sloth is very, very slow. Remember that David Attenborough video that we watched a few weeks ago? Uh, a sloth doesn't actually move very fast. So it conserves a lot of energy in the grand scheme of things, okay? They're very, very slow. They don't really do that much, to be honest with you. Um, another thing that happens with a sloth, and this might sound a bit gross, but algae actually grows on the back of a sloth, okay? So therefore, it blends in, okay? So, for example, if I coloured this in... In uh, green, oh, that hasn't worked, has it? Uh, let's just go here. Okay, so if we color that in green, okay, and then you could pretend that this sloth was blending into the tree environment. All right, so therefore it's hidden. Okay, it's hidden from view, from prey, from predators. Okay, and uh, that means that it's got a better chance of survival because it's so slow. It doesn't really have a good kind of reaction time. It means that it's got a better chance of survival. Okay, so that's just one example of how animals adapt to live in the rainforest. Okay, good.